Shall we all stand to our feet as the leaders and the graduating students are entering the hall? Respected Chief Guest, Dr. Sivan Aramsanga, IES, the esteemed Secretary, Planning and Program Implementation, Urban Development and Poverty Alleviation Department, Government of Mizoram. Distinguished leaders of the BCM, the Baptist Church of Mizoram, including the President-elect, Associate General Secretary, elected members of the Government of Mizoram, heads of departments and institutions of the BCM, heads of departments and officials of various departments and institutions of the government of Mizoram, principals and staff of various colleges and institutions in Lunglei, distinguished leaders of NGOs, members of the press, prominent citizens of Lunglei, our helpful and generous business partners, the graduating students of Hatim, parents, and families of the graduating students and all other special invitees, friends, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on behalf of the community at the community of teachers, non-teaching staff and students at the Higher and Technical Institute, Mizoram, and welcome you to this auspicious occasion of the ninth Hatim Valedictory Ceremony this is the day that we have been waiting for, that we have been looking forward to. This is the day that we have been praying for. And now, having been granted such a special day, we glorify and bless the name of the one and almighty God who makes all these things possible. As you are aware, the Hatim Valedictory Ceremony is a ceremony where the achievements and accomplishments of students are recognized and celebrated. The valedictory service brings together the working community of Hatim, leaders of the BCM, students and parents of graduating students and invited celebrants on a common platform for Thanksgiving and celebration. I welcome you all to this day and to this time. I shall now call upon the Hatim campus choir to present their special number. They shall be singing the college hymn, How Great Thou Art. Please welcome the campus choir. Oh Lord my God, when I know some wonder, consider all the works thy hand had made. I see the stars, I hear the mighty thunder, thy part throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. But when I think that God his son must bearing, 
condemn him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burdens gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sins. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Shout of acclamation and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart, and I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim, My God, how great thou art! Then sings my soul. Can you all stand up? <clears throat> I lift up my eyes to, to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us pray. <clears throat> oh Lord, our Father, we thank you for the <coughs> giving us this opportunity of ninth valedictory ceremony of higher and technical institute of Mizoram, run by the Baptist Church of Mizoram. We give thanks to you for the principal faculty and the staff who inspire the students to learn and to complete their courses. O oh Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, we thank you for guiding us and leading us to take part in your kingdom here and there. Lord, we give thanks to you again for you have given us this institution. Lord, we also thank you for the students who are studying here in this institution and who had completed their courses, the graduate students. We do pray that your Holy Spirit will continue to lead and guide all the graduate students in their future to glorify your name and to be an instrument for the extension of your kingdom and let them be the apologist, apologetic scholar of our Christian faith, an example of the citizens of your kingdom wherever they go. Lord, we also pray that you continue your blessing upon this institute, principal and the faculty, as well as all the students and workers. We also pray that you let them know that the workers of these institutions are standing in state of Jesus Christ in this generation on this earth so that they may be able to show 
the real picture of your kingdom for today and for tomorrow. Please help each one of us this day to stand firm in our faith. Let your name be glorified today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> We have a reputation as an institution known by people as an institution where strict discipline is being maintained. And, um, but this is in line with the biblical principles and we, have no we offer no apologies for this. And we are very thankful that today we can present to you 86 students who have completed their stay here for the past three years, which in itself is a great accomplishment in itself. That's what one of the things that we are celebrating, even as we give thanks to God. I shall now ask uh, the heads of departments of the four departments that we have, Bachelor of uh, Commerce, Bachelor of Computer Applications, Bachelor of Social Work, Bachelor of Arts English Corps, to help me in introducing and presenting um, the graduates today, the graduating students today. I shall call, first of all, uh, on uh, Mr. Arla Luntra, the head of the Department of Commerce. Thank you. May I request the third row to stand up from your seats. <clears throat> I present to you, sir, the following students who have completed the academic courses laid down by the Mizoram University for the degree of Bachelor of Commerce and have gone through the academic and non-academic non disciplines of the Higher and Technical Institute, Mizoram, satisfactorily. Dear graduating students, I congratulate you all for having completed the required program for the Bachelor of Commerce at the Higher and Technical Institute, Mizoram. By virtue of the mandate and responsibilities vested in me by the Society of Higher and Technical Studies under the aegis of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, I now commission you all to walk and act worthy of the core values of the Institute instilled in you during your three year stay at the Institute. I urge you all to worthily sustain the honor of your standing in the Institute, as you are commissioned to glorify the name of the, our Lord Jesus Christ in all situations, as you now take your leave. May God bless you all to keep the hallmark of Jesus Christ and that of Hatim. Thank you. B. Lom Sang Zola, son of B. Mal Som Kima, Chan Marie Lunglei. H. C. Lal Muan Sanga, son of H. C. Van Lal Trieta, Koshi. Chung Nei Remi, daughter of Van Lal Piyanga, Song Tesi. Daniel Lal Ven Hima, son of K. Zou Ram Chana, Ruala Lung. Si Lal Shui Pui, daughter of Si Zai Rem Thanga, Bazar Veng Lung Lei. Esther Arla Lung Ziri, daughter of Arla Rim Tanga, Zobo, Lunglei. F. Lal Ro Sanga, son of F. Lal Tengliena, Salim Veng, Lunglei. Florence Van Lal Tani, daughter of Z.D. Lal Tan Puya, Siaha. H. Lal Biek Sangi, daughter of H. Lal Nun Sanga, Tingfal. H. Lal Manga Izuali, daughter of Van Lal Ringa, Veng Lai Lung Lei. H. C. Lal Nung Pui, daughter of H. C. Ming Tan Zava, Aizol. Jacob Larian Puya, son of T. Lal Manga Izama, Veng Lai Lung Lei. K. Lal Manga Isanga, son of K. Rau Tuama, Zou Nui Lung Lei. K. Lal Rau Tuama, son of Van Lal Rema Kiang Te, Setun Lung Lei. K. Van Lal Suan Oma, 
son of K. Lorem Tanga, some do clang Benjamin Longay Oma, son of Lorindica, Long Clay Lalpek Lua, son of TC Sang Munga, Arvant Ne. Lal Ramdin Moya, son of Lal Tan Puya. Lal Rem Ruataralte, son of Arlal Moya. Serpon Lungle. Lal Rin Feli. Lal Rin Feli. Daughter of Tilong Hinglova, Chual Chu. Miriam Vanal Ruat Sangi, daughter of R. Chualova, Chief Peer. In Lal Rosika, son of Shang Tanzawa, Long Klai. Arlal Muanpui, daughter of Arlal R. Zirliana, Serkon. R. Van Lalai Oma, son of R. Van Lalruata, Damdep Tu. Rebecca Lalrongboli, daughter of Konkar Moya Sangau. Rinki, daughter of Asutos Day, Ramzo Klang Serkon. Rose Sang Liana Lon Ching, son of Ngur Chung Nunga, Zobo Lung Lei. Stephen C. La Rose Sanga, son of C. Tan Tranga, Electric Veng Lung Klai. S. Lal Muan Sangi, daughter of S. Chuan Kima, Aizol. Fancy. May I request the second row to stand up from your seats. Sai Tuang Pui, daughter of Sai Moi Sai Lo, Chan Mari Lung Lei. Sai Tuang Zeli, daughter of Sang Lura Sai Lo, Ser Chip. Sparzen Hao Heng, son of H. Tangri Vunga, College Veng Long Klai. Z.D. Vanalkhet Puya, son of Z.D. Lal Zam Liena, Ramzo Klang Sherkon. Thank you, sir. May I now call upon Mr. Joseph Lalhun Moya, the head of the Department of Bachelor of Computer Applications. I present to you, sir, the following students who have completed the academic courses laid down by the Mizoram University for the degree of Bachelor of Computer Applications and have gone through the academic and non-academic disciplines of the Higher and Technical Institute, Mizoram Cities Factory. Thank you. Dear graduating students, I congratulate you all for having completed the required program for the Bachelor of Computer Applications at the Higher and Technical Institute, Mizoram, by virtue of the mandate and responsibilities vested in me by the Society of Higher and Technical Studies under the aegis of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, I now commission you all to walk and act worthy of the core values of the Institute instilled in you during your three-year stay at the Institute. I urge you all to worthily sustain the honor of your standing in the Institute. As you are commissioned to glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in all situations, as you now take your leave. May God bless you all to keep the hallmark of Jesus Christ and thereof at him. Thank you. PC Ming Tan Zora, son of Lal Kanga Patuao, Lung Lo Lung Le. Si Lal Kang Kima, son of Si Lal Lung Buana, Zong Huai Lung Le. H Lal Muan Zora, son of H Lal Biak Sanga, Veng Lai Lung Le. Zaurin Dikaralte, son of S.R. Banal Shriata, Buarpui. Jailal Dinpuya, son of Jailal Rolua, New Siaha, Siaha. Joel Banal Zora, son of H. Laurema, 
Council Bank si ha. Si lalim rata sanof si zaun usang at si pier. Bilal berkop uy mo ya sanof bilal matuana lungsen bank lai. Es lang na itangi daughter of es tang lura chan marie lung lai. Thank you, sir. Thank you. May I now call upon Ms. Lauren Kluwangi, the Head of the Department of Bachelor of Social Work, to present the students. I present to you, sir, the following students who have completed the academic courses laid down by the Missouri University for the degree of Bachelor of Social Work and have gone through the academic and non-academic disciplines of the Higher End Technical Institute, Mizoram, satisfactorily. Thank you. Dear graduating students, I congratulate you all for having completed the required program for the Bachelor of Social Work at the Higher End Technical Institute, Mizoram. By virtue of the mandate and responsibilities vested in me by the Society of Higher and Technical Studies under the aegis of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, I now commission you all to walk and act worthy of the core values of the Institute instilled in you during your three year stay at the Institute. I urge you all to worthily sustain the honor of your standing at the Institute as you are now commissioned to glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in all situations as you now take your leave. May God bless you all to keep the whole mark of Jesus Christ and that of at him. Thank you. Ah, Lal Rembradwi James, Ah, Lal Nunzava's daughter, Kolej Veng Lungklai. Benjamin Lal Nungkuya, son of Thang Rikuma, Bazar Veng Lungklai. Lan Si Lan Nuntuanga, son of P. Lal Chankui, Natyal Peniel Veng. Si Zorin Thangi, daughter of Lal Rin Moya Chante, Bazar Veng Lunglei. Christian Van Lal Faka, son of Si Lal Chakima, Chan Mari Aizol. Esther CVL Ruatui, daughter of C. Zakunga, P. Anivang Sersi. F. Lal Rempuya, son of Vanal Muanafana, Itheriat Lunglei. F. Zoramani, daughter of F. Lal Ramgaya, Zobok Vengtar Lunglei. Ming Tan Siami, daughter of H. Lal Beisaya. Hosalin Lal Mwansangi, daughter of Lal Lungkui Siaha. Janet Lal Mwansangi, daughter of P.C. Biak Ngeta, Tsaltang Aizol. Joseph Lal Dusaka, son of H. Saptona, Electric Veng Lunglei. Lal Mangai Zuala, Dr. Tsong Kuma Tsong Tu Siaha. K. Van Lal Thang Zuali, daughter of K. Lal Tsung Nunga Thil Tlang Lung Lei. Lal Din Thari Hrate, daughter of R. Lal Nekima Zou Tlang Lung Lei. May I ask the students in the first uh, row to stand up from their seat. Christy Lal Enmoyi, daughter of C. Van Alvena Longtai. Lal Mwan Pui Renkei, daughter of Dr. Lal Ramzava Serkon Lunglei. Logos Roaming Tanga, son of A. Gensila, Putlungasi. LP Van Lal Ngaka, son of LP Zoding Liana, Bazar Veng Lunglei. P. C. Lal Rintuanga, son of P. C. Lal Rinoma, Natyal. 
Rebecca Lal Swanomi Kyangte, daughter of Kelal Mangaya Chan Mari Lungle. Silal Ruatika, son of Si Zanghinga, King Sai. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I shall now call upon Mr. John C. Lalduzaga, uh, Head of Department of uh, English, the English Corps, to present the graduating students. I present to you, sir, the following students who have completed the academic courses laid down by the Mizoram University for the degree of Bachelor of Arts English Corps and have gone through the academic and non-academic disciplines of the Higher and Technical Institute Mizoram satisfactorily. Dear graduating students, I now congratulate you all for having completed the required program for the Bachelor of Arts English Corps at the Higher and Technical Institute Mizoram. By virtue of the mandate and responsibilities vested in me by the Society of Higher and Technical Studies under the aegis of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, I now commission you all to walk and act worthy of the core values of the Institute instilled in you during your three years' stay at the Institute. I urge you all to worthily sustain the honor of your standing at, in the Institute as you are now commissioned to glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in all situations as you now take your leave. May God bless you all to keep the hallmark of Jesus Christ and that of Hatim. Thank you. See Lalwat Sangi, daughter of Lalram Hakalyanha, Tlabung. Christopher K. Lalrin Oma, son of K. Partsu Ailova, Ser Chief. F. Lal Chakima, son of F. Lal Mwankima, Aizol. H. Lal Rumoya, son of H. Lal Songliana, Zoutlang Lungle. J. Lal Himi, daughter of J. Lal Munzawa, Veng Lai Lungle. K. Lal Pekhua, son of K. Lal Mwankima, Rasi Veng Lungle. K. Lalrin Moi, daughter of K. Lalpan, Lalpangzona, Chan Mari Longtlai. Lalian Moi Lian Ha, son of Lal Ming Liana, Na Thiel Bazar. Lal Sang Zuani Ren Thay, daughter of R. Sai Chuama Thay Riyad Lunglei. L.P. Zorin Pui, daughter of L.P. Zong Hongaya, Ra Seveng Lunglei. Mal Som Kima, son of Lal Ram Muana Thay Riyad Lunglei. Nathan C. Lalrem Ruatpuya, son of C. Lalmuan Kima, Zong Hwai Hongdei. Priscilla Lalmangai Zuali, daughter of K. Lalrem Siyama Veng Lai Lungdei. R. Lalkwai Tuangi, daughter of R. Lalzom Diana Veng Lai Lungdei. Ramdin Thari Ralte, daughter of R. Lalrem Ruata Tlabung. Rem Ruat Pui, daughter of Arlan Ming Moya, Puk Pui Dung Lei. Andrew Van Lels Huang, son of Arlan Muan Kima, Ram Lai Pui. Samuel Lalong Kima, son of Lalrin Oma, Na Thiel Electric. T.C. Lal Nun Siami, daughter of T.C. Zaliana, Electric Veng Dung Lei. V. Lal Rautzami, daughter of Lal Chan Puya, Puk Pui Dung Lei. Kevin V. L. Mangaya, son of B. Rao Thang Liana, Sir Kohan Dung Lei. Thank you. Thank you to all the heads of departments and to the graduating students. Please remain standing as I call upon Lal Sang Zoli Ren Tlai to offer prayer on behalf of the graduating students and she will also be conducting the oath taking of the graduating students. Lal Sang Zoli Ren Tlai. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, that our educational and spiritual life are rooted and grounded in you, even as they are nurtured in Hatim community. Now the time has come for us to live. It is we are forever grateful for all those who make Hatim our home. 
all those who supported and protected us, who inspired and encouraged us, and who taught us to take nothing for granted, and who challenged us to see the world from different perspective. Thank you, Almighty God, for the teachers who help us learn, develop, and grow, for the strength of body, mind, and spirit, for healing and health, for the fellowship and time of significant worship, for the knowledge of all that is true, noble, and honorable, for the moments of grace and spiritual awakening. We now come together for a common purpose to thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now let us say the oath together. On this 24th day of May 2018, I believe I speak these words in all solemnity. I promise to honor in my heart the precepts of my institution and the community culture to hold fast to all that is noble and true, and to abstain from all that is dishonorable. And furthermore, I promise to spread the flames of the same knowledge and wisdom with which I have been enlightened. I shall always be and support those who are older than I, and always try to see, to share, and to serve, to be a blessing to my fellow human beings. Finally, I will make every effort to uphold all of the rules and knowledge that I have acquired through the institution, to become a competent and sincere citizen of my state, <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Sanzo, everyone. Play and the graduating students, we hope and pray that you hold on to the oath that you have made. We are very thankful that we have students who come through our the doors of our institution. They are not from different they are not from the same background as you can imagine. They are all from different backgrounds. But as we work together in partnership with God and their parents and the students themselves, God has done amazing things because God blessed the unity of his people. And the prayers that we receive from the churches, the local churches within the BCM, we have seen and witnessed the transforming of lives in this community. So we want to give thanks to God for this. And amongst the students we have a valedictorian, uh, Nathan C. Lauren Ruatpuya, who had been selected by the highest authority of the institution to present the valedictory address. Nathan C. Lauren Ruatpuya. Thank you. Greetings to our Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Vanel Ramsanga, IES, Secretary UD and PA Planning and Program Implementation, Government of Mizoram, and all the special invitees, our respected Principal Dean, faculty and staff, our families and friends, and all my dear fellow students. It is a great honor for me to say this valedictory speech on behalf of the graduating students. Three years ago, all of us who are seated here entered this college as a freshman who looked forward to pursue our three years bachelor course in this Hatim College. And now we are here at the end of our road in our valedictory service. There are many thanksgiving points that are needed to be said. First and foremost, thanks be to God, as it is his loving hands that held our feeble life, leading us all through these years. Our heartfelt gratitude goes to our hardworking and devoted principal, our teachers, our residence guides, who impart all the uncountable knowledge and life skills with lots of love and care, guiding, guiding us just as our parents would do. Their dedication and commitment are what make us who we are today. All the non-teaching staffs and workers of our Haitian community are no less important. All their contributions and sacrifice for us are remembered and appreciated as well. Words cannot express how thankful and delighted we are today to see the presence of our families here. We are so blessed to have a family who, who gave us an unending love and support, who are always there for us no matter what we are going through. In this institution, 
not only our educational life but also but also our spiritual life has been shaped and molded we the graduating students would like to say that we receive many spiritual blessings through the worship services and the daily devotions that we used to have here and we are thankful for this golden opportunity that nourish our spirits and enlighten us in the words of God. Our three years journey here in this institution is not always filled with happiness and sunshine. There were times when the dark clouds come and we felt like giving up. But as we can see here today, despite all the odds, we still managed to graduate. The endless prayer support that we receive and all the encouragement and motivations from our teachers and families all counts for our wonderful journey here. Graduation is not the end, but, is, but it is just the beginning. It is said that to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but dream, not only plan, but believe. This institution has taught us not only to act and plan, but also to have a great dream, believe it, and chase it, so that our graduation here will not be the end, but an, a fresh beginning to accomplish great things in us, in our lives. Each one of us could notice the positive changes that has taken place in us during our three years stay here. We are changed to a whole new person, and we can say that an all-round development had taken place in us. Like the famous metaphysical poet John Donne named one of his poems, a valediction forbidding mourning. Let this valediction be without any sadness and mourning. Because as we, the graduating students, left this institution, it doesn't mean that we are completely cut off from this Hedim community. Just like Don compared him and his lover like the two ends of a compass, we, are, we too are like that as well. Here, as we all know, uh, the compass which we use in our geometry box have two hands, one with the pointed edge and the other which goes round to make circle. This Hatim community, which uh, grounded its root in God, act like the fixed pointed edge of the compass and us who will be graduating will be scattered around going at different places. Even though the other end move away from the fixed end, they are always connected at the tip and will surely come back together. Even as we graduated from this institution, we will continue to seek, to share, and serve, and be a blessing for our fellow human being. Let us follow up each other with prayers and walk our path, putting God first, whichever way we go. May God be with you all. God bless, hate him, and long live, hate him. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nathan, for your inspiring speech. And as I look down from, my, from this place, I can see some of our invitees still arriving. So I'm, I extend my warm welcome to all of them. I can see the outgoing president of the BCM here, and also uh, Dudo, uh, Pu Andrew is here as well. And the others, uh, the AGS uh, mission is here as well. So I extend my warm welcome to this auspicious occasion. Um, you know, the seed for a Christian higher institute was planted in the hearts of the leadership of the BCM for a long time since it was the BCM who pioneered education in these lands, as we all know, with the advent of the gospel. And so uh, this was put into shape and it became a reality in 2007 when uh, after the 110th assembly of the BCM passed a resolution to start the Higher and Technical Institute with all the challenges. And in this, we have many people to thank who support us in all uh, different ways. And I take this opportunity to keep on praying for us and to be together in this educational ministry as we try to catch and mold the lives of young people in our land for our nation. So I am very thankful right now that I can present uh, the chief guests and um, Dr. Siva Nalram Sangha uh, from the Fraternity of Indian Economic Service um, is a very um, distinguished person. Um, he is not a stranger to this region because uh, he'll be, if he want, he, he can talk about these things, but I will just say that he is not a stranger to this place, this region, to Lunglei. And um, he qualified himself uh, to study at the Lee Kuan Yew in, uh, School of Policy. Please, I cannot remember the name of the institution. He will clarify, please. Uh, in Singapore, he qualified himself and he, st he studied there for one year. 
and he was there with his family. He is very well traveled and also a lot of the innovative projects that we have in our state right now originated with him, I have to say. So I welcome him in our midst today as I'm going to invite him before he made his speech, we have a small token of our appreciation, a gift that we want to hand over. If he could come up on the podium, uh, I'll give him this gift and then I'll ask him to deliver his speech. Leader and respected principal, Dr. Rema Chakchua, esteemed leaders of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, the Reverend P.C. Liandula, the Reverend R. Zoming Liana, the Reverend Dr. C. Van Laldika, Dean of the Institute, Mr. Wonsang Avanchong, esteemed members of the faculty, colleagues from the government of Mizoram, Graduating students, parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to all of you. Most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2018. This is your day. One mission accomplished, but believe me, this is just the beginning. All of you will remember this day for many, many years to come. I'm honored to be with you for this valedictory ceremony. I understand that the Institute was established in 2007 with a strong and determined principle with only five dedicated faculties who were committed to make an Institute with a difference. Barely 10 years from its establishment, it is already one of the best and distinct institutes in the state. I think the institute has already achieved what the pioneer has dreamed of under the dynamic leadership of the founding and addressing current principal. And of course, with the support of our faculty and staffs and the Baptist Church of Mizoram. Hats off to the pioneer and the current management for the wonderful achievements. Graduates, each of you walk a very different path to reach this day. Some of you might have faced real trauma during the course of your education, but I'm sure all of you have faced challenges, disappointments, stress, illness, and all of this are so personal when they strike, but they are also so universal as it happens to almost every one of us. But how each individual responds to such challenges determine our future, failure or success. Over 30 years ago, Dr. Carol Dweck, professor of psychology at Stanford University has undertaken a study about students' attitudes. She noticed that some students rebounded, while other students seemed devastated by even the smallest setbacks. After studying the behavior of thousands of children, Dr. Dweck coined the term fixed mindset and growth mindset to describe the underlying beliefs people have about learning and intelligence. When students believe they can get smarter, they understand that efforts make them stronger. Therefore, they put in extra time and efforts and that leads to higher achievement. That growth mindset, what is called psychology of success, is what success is all about. And this success mantra is the message that I would like to put across to the graduating students today. Let me elaborate. The person who has a fixed mindset believes 
that the capability of any human is restricted to what you are given. You are either good or bad at something. Working hard to grow and develop your skill is not something that is considered. This is a notion that develops a mindset full of limitations on what can and cannot be achieved. As opposed to that, having a growth mindset means you understand that your capacity to learn is vast and your skills can always be improved. With, mind this, hard work, good strategies, and commitment. Out of these two mindsets, which we manifest from an early age, springs a great deal of our behavior, our relationship with success, and failure in both professional and personal contexts, and ultimately our capacity for happiness and success. These mindsets change what people strive for and what they see as success. They change the definition, significance, and impact of failure. They change the deepest meaning of effort. Bradley Whitford in his commencement address at the University of Wisconsin in 2004 said, and I quote, take action. Every story you have ever connected with, every leader you are ever admired, every little thing that you've ever accomplished is the result of taking action. You have a choice. You can either be a passive victim of circumstance or you can be the active hero of your own life. In this context, let me point to you to a real hero with true growth mindset, Mr. Jack Ma, founder of Alibaba. His own words, I quote, I had a lot of failure. I failed for funny things that I felt in a key primary school test for two times. I failed three times for the middle schools. You know, for three years I tried, failed in the universities. Fail, fail, fail. So I applied job for 30 times, get rejected 30 times. 23 people have accepted. I was the only one who got rejected. He said, we went for police, five people, Four of them accepted. I was the only guy they did not proceed with. So to me, being turned down, rejected. Oh, by the way, I told you that I applied for Harvard 10 times, rejected. I don't think in this world, there are a lot of people being rejected more than 30 times. If we, the only thing, we never give up, never give up, today is hard, tomorrow will be worse, but the day after tomorrow will be sunshine. And today, the persistence of this young Jack Ma, who refused to bend down to faith, has finally paid off. To nobody's real surprise, Jack Ma was recently announced as the richest person in the whole China, and among the richest men in the world. If you study success people around you, across the world, they're so different in appearance, in character, in qualifications, backgrounds, shape, and size. If appearance has anything to do with success, believe me, Jagma would never have a chance. He's one ugly creature, but he still success because he got what it takes to be a successful person. And only one thing in common to all these success people is that there is growth mindset in them. They always wanted to grow. And that is what matters. Life is not going to bed of roses. There will always be ups and downs. Good amounts of disappointments may strike upon you, graduates. But the advice is always try to remain in growth zone. Jang Ma fails 37 times, rejected 37 times, but he could still be the richest person in China and one of the richest 
and the most successful businessman in the world. You may fail, but you should still be in a growth zone. Your mindset and your attitude, always remember, if you think you can, you will grow from every situation. As you leave this institute as graduates and set out into the world, build broad mindset in yourself. When strategy or disappointment strikes on you, know that deep inside you, you have the ability to get through anything. And as the saying goes, we are more vulnerable than we ever thought, but we are stronger than we ever imagined. Best of luck, class. 2018, and thank you all very much. Thank you, the respected chief guest, Dr. Siva Nuram Sangha, for the important message uh, for the graduates. As I said earlier, uh, he has a double master degree, and one was acquired in the Singapore uh, University, and also he has a, got a doctorate in, from Mizoram University in the field of economics. And so, um, when I think about the institutes or institutions and colleges in Mizoram, I fail to remember uh, a lot of institutions wh which have been started directly by the government. And I reflect that most of them are started by communities, churches, because of the felt need of the people. And then as they grow, they need the support from all quarters, including the government, and often they are taken up by the government, provincialized them, funded them, this is what happens. And so, in our working here in this, institu in, in this institution as well, we cannot help but uh, talk with the government, negotiate with them, and ask for their help. And I'm very thankful that we have someone like our chief guest in the government who understands the importance of entrepreneurship, the importance of challenging the students, building them up so that they do not rely on other people, but they have the capacity inbuilt in them so that wherever they go out, they can strike up for themselves and they can succeed in life for the good of the people and for the church and for the nation ultimately. So we have been working together on various projects, including one which has been granted by the government of Mizoram recently, which is the Zero Waste Management uh, Project. Uh, which is, has been granted by his department. So we'll be starting the construction work very soon because we look at the environment and how we are treating our garbage and how we are just throwing them uh, at the side of the road. But we'll be having a very scientific and advanced solid waste management plant in the college built very soon. That is uh, from his endorsement as well. And also we're looking at starting a knowledge center at our college, which is the Center for Entrepreneurship Development, which the government of Mizoram is looking at funding as well. So. We're working together with him and um, uh, people in the government, and we thank them for their generosity and their endorsement of our projects. And now, as we do praise and celebrate, as we give thanks to God, we do it with songs. And today, um, as congregational singing is not very appropriate, we have begged, asked, requested the presence of the very famed Mizo Ram Baptist Choir, to be in our midst and they have, in spite of their busy schedule, come to here uh, to this celebration uh, to present a special number, special song for us. I shall now call upon uh, the Baptist Choir to come up on stage and to present uh, the special song uh, to celebrate with us uh, this valedictory ceremony. Thank you.
Thank you so very much, the BCM Choir, for the beautiful and inspiring song of praise. May God be glorified through this. It is now time for the distribution of awards and acknowledgement. I shall ask Mr. John Sildu Saga to lead us in this. Thank you, John. Good afternoon. Our esteemed chief guest, Dr. Bandaram Saga, IES Secretary, UD and PA, BCM President-elect, Reverend P.C. Liandula, AGS Service BCM, Reverend Arzo Mindiana, AGS Mission, BCM Reverend Dr. C. Vanaldika, our principal, Hitim, Dr. Rema Chakswa, Dean Vansang Bantong, faculties, parents, alumni, and invited celebrants, and everyone. Um, the Higher and um, Technical Institute Mizoram considers the recognition of high performing individuals from the senior most students, namely the six semester students of the institute, its duty and obligation. The institute believes in facilitating and guiding its student to excel in character, academics, leaderships, and other relevant areas of personality development and growth. Through this recognition program, HATIM endeavors to motivate and drive its student to acquire a healthy sense of competition. Currently, the following categories of awards are handed out annually during the valedictory ceremony or service. HATIM Award, Arlal Ziki Award, Proficiency Award, Most Improved Award, Scripture Award, and Elective Awards. HATIM Award. This award is handed out to the most outstanding individual for overall excellence during the three-year period of his or her stay at HATIM. The parameters are excellence in character, excellence in academics, personality qualities like leadership, discipline, and overall. I would like to request our chief guest, Dr. Vanla Ramsang, IES Secretary, UD and PA, to come and give away this award. The receiver of this award, this is the most prestigious award in our institution. Thus, the name ATIM Award. The receiver of this award is H. Lanwan Zwala of the Department of Computer Science. The next award is R. Lalziki Award. This award is handed out to the most disciplined and hardworking individual from the entire batch of sixth semester, one who has depicted outstanding character during his or her stay at HATIM. This award is a sponsored award, sponsored by our first principal, Dr. Chung Tanpari, under the mother's maiden name. I would like to request BCM President-elect uh, Reverend P.C. Liandula to come and give away this award. And the receiver of this award is H.C. Lanunpui of BCOM. Thank you, sir. The next award is Proficiency Award. Let me change the order here. I would like to request the AGS Service BCM Reverend R. Zoming Liana to come and, and give away this award. While he comes towards the stage, I would like to read out the details of this award. The Proficiency Award is handed out for academic excellence to one individual from each of the courses, that is BCOM, BCA, BSW, and BA English Core. In other words, the topper from each of the aforementioned courses is awarded a proficiency award. It is the topper of the class. And the receiver from the Department of English is 
Nathan C. Lalrembruat Puya. From the Department of Commerce, Stephen C. Lalrosanga. From the Department of Computer Science, H. Lalmuanzuala. From the Department of Social Work, F. Lalrempuya. Thank you, sir. Oh, sorry. Please, sir. Once again, thank you, sir. The next award is Most Improved Award, and I would like to request our principal, Dr. Rema Chakchuap, to come and give away these awards. This award is handed out to the individual who has made the greatest amount of improvement and progress during his or her stay at HATIM. It is designed to motivate individuals to aim for a constant and consistent growth in life. And the receiver from the Department of English is Samuel Lalomkima. From the Department of Commerce, Daniel Lalvenhima. From the Department of Computer Science, J. Laldin Puya. From the Department of Social Work, Hoseline Lalmuansangi. Thank you, sir. Oh, not again. I'm really sorry. Thank you again, sir. Uh, the next award is Elective Awards. This award is given with an objective to motivate and encourage students to strive with sincerity and dedication towards their elective subject and deem their elective subject equally important as their core subject. There are three categories, that is three elective subject, philosophy, history, and environmental sciences, across two departments, which is the Department of English and Department of Commerce. The receiver of this award is a student who scored the highest in these respective elective subjects. However, with the new CBCS syllabus introduced by the Mizoram University, these elective subjects are now made mandatory, and the marks scored in these respective elective papers are accounted for their overall performances, unlike the previous years. So. This outgoing batch will be the last batch to receive these elective awards. And I would like to request the respective lecturer of each paper, each subject, to come on stage, Ms. Van Kopi Moi Patsuwao, for environmental science, for history, Mr. Benjamin Nalunfima, and for philosophy, Mr. John C. Dusaka, to give away these awards. First, we would like to call the receiver of the Environmental Science Award, and the award goes to Stephen C. Lalrosanga, BCom. Environmental Sciences, Stephen C. Lalrosanga. Thank you, Miss. History Award goes to Nathan C. Laldemruat Puya. And the Philosophy Awards goes to H. Laldemruat Puya. We have the Scripture Awards. Thank you. Oh, it's still there. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, the scripture award. 
I would like to request our AGS Mission BCM Reverend Dr. C. Vanaldika to come on stage and give away these awards. Haiti hey, is an institute founded upon the Word of God, and therefore, it is strongly felt that the teachings in the Bible are of utmost importance to the holistic growth and development of its students. This award is handed out to the individual who has shown genuine commitment and dedication towards learning the scriptures, that is, the one who has stopped the scripture exams throughout the three-year period of his or her stay at Haitim. This year, unlike another year, other years, sorry, the award will be given not only to the outgoing batch, that is the sixth semester, but two more scripture awards will be given across two semesters as well, which is the second semester and the fourth semester. So the receiver for the uh, sixth semester scripture award goes to, or is, L.P. Zaurinpui of the Department of English. Fourth semester, Lalram Moi Changte of the Department of Commerce. And second semester, Seemal Som Kimi from the Department of English. Thank you, sir, and thank you all. Thank you, John, for that. I'll be calling uh, very soon Reverend Arzo Mingli and the AGS Service BCM. But before I do, I just would like the gatherings here to uh, go away with this knowledge that some 859 students have passed through the gates of our institute, of which 381 have graduated. And amongst these 381 graduates, we have nine toppers, that is the highest in the university examination. And 18 have passed in distinction, 234 in first division and 57 in the second division and three in the third division. And this is the Lord's doing and we give him praise. We shall now release the magazine of the institute entitled Dokimos. I shall ask the AGS service to come up on stage as the ushers are bringing out the magazine. He'll release the magazine for us, please. And after this, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay, now I release with joy Haiti magazine, Dokimos for the glory of God. We are very fortunate to have a leader in Reverend R. Zhong and He is the AGS in charge of service and he is my immediate boss and I answer to him and also he has been very inspirational in guiding us in all aspects of life in this community. So we thank him for uh, his time today and his presence. And as the magazine will be presented to our invited, um, special invitees today, it will also be available outside, uh, hopefully, few copies will be available uh, to be sold. I'm not sure how many copies are available, so the ushers will be able to help you with that for those who are interested. It's the creative output of the students and also the teachers of the institution. Um, we have two campuses. One is <clears throat> in Tanmari here, and another one is in Komzol Pupui, which is the permanent campus. We have, the BCM had acquire, acquired 20 acres of land and we are buying more because we envisage an institution um, which will become a deemed university eventually 
which can award degrees on it, its own. And we want to build a quality institution in future because our mission, as stated here in the program sheet, is to provide quality education uh, to students to mold and equip them with re relevant knowledge and skills which will make them competent, reliable, and responsible citizens in our society, nation, and beyond. So for those who wonder and ask questions, let me just give you this briefing that we are now on the verge of completion of an administrative building which costs around about 211 lakhs to complete. So uh, the handover is supposed to be at the end of this month. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, with the uh, problem we face with the labors, uh, we, whether we can do this or not, the handover. However, it's on the verge of completion. So this is the administrative building, but we are yet to construct the academic block in which we are, we are supposed to have classes. So development, infrastructure development and construction work is ongoing. We have at least 75% of our, all our students stay in the residences on the campus, and uh, we hope to be able to move on the campus soon. Once we, we can move all the four departments that we have, the BCM had already resolved to open two more departments in Bachelor of uh, Business Administration and also uh, Media and Journalism. So we will be growing with your support and your prayer. And we welcome you to come and see and visit our campus sometimes when you have time. And this valedictory ceremony is conducted in English, as you know, and are experiencing. And uh, we offer no apologies. However, I know that it inconvenient some of you. There's one message that I have to make sure that everybody understands and know today, which I'll be saying in a few sentences in Mizo, so please bear with me. When I hear English in Kankonda, institution in kan language, community language English and Ivang Tihan Kantini, the Kain Tritiam, Karinga, to Vang Tuns in Sophia Pok and Tumlemlo. Amaro to message in treat ngay ngay tur tuta hiya oma to to misoto ng kasoy doon eh. He valedictory ceremony zo hiyan ruay kan buot saya. He ta chan marikem pa sa hiyan in zavayatan e ngay ngay turin ruay kan buot saya ni. To me to kung ay takin ho bolo vin min kil pui turin di tagzatin tanem ngay takin kan som chewe ni eh. I shall now call upon the Dean of the Institute, Mr. Wonsang Van Tsong, uh, to deliver his vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Even as we have come now towards the end of our program for today, I would like to extend my greetings to our uh, Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. C. Van Sanga, who is the esteemed Secretary of uh, Planning and Implementation planning and program implementation of the UDNPA Department and Government of Mizoram, and to all the dist distinguished guests that we have from Baptist Church of Mizoram, and I'd like to also greet all those who have come from the town, the prominent citizens, and the parents of our graduating students, and all those invites, special invitees, on the, all those who have come from the Mizoram Journalist Association, Lung Le, and I'd like to also greet all those who have come to witness this program today and to make this program access, uh, successful. In, uh, on behalf of me and on behalf of the, the organizing subcommittee of this ninth valedictory ceremony of HATIM, I'd like to, at the very outset, uh, First, give thanks to God the Almighty, who has granted us the strength and the wisdom and has planned everything in such a way that we are able to organize this occasion and we are able to spend time together in this manner. I'd like all the credits go to him. It is none of our doings. It is none because of our strength, only because of his might we are able to do this. We are, our thanks go to him, go to him, and I'd like to also give a special thanks to our chief guest, Dr. C. Vanalram Sanga. We know, sir, that you have been very busy scheduled in the government proceedings, but despite your busy schedules, 
despite how hectic it would be for you to travel here and there, we thank you for accepting our invitations and gracing this occasion as a chief guest today. And we thank you further also for the inspiring messages that you have delivered to, for our graduating students and to all of us in general. And we hope to see to have uh, yet other good times ahead of us in the future. We'd like to thank you for all those things that you have done for us. And we also would like to extend our gratitude to our BCM leaders, those who have come here to not only to witness, even to perform different items to make this program a successful one. We thank you, sirs, for your wonderful performances and for accompanying us in this manner. We also would like to thank all the inviters, those who have made it here today, and we'd like to thank the, choir, the BCM choir in particular for your performances. Those were really very marvelous and melodious, and we could never have enough of you, and we hope and wish that you will have even brighter futures in the days ahead of you. And we'd like to also extend our gratitude to the parents of the graduating students, those who have accompanied your children and us here today. Uh, because of you, this program is a successful one. We thank you for coming. And we also would like to thank ourselves as the institute and the community, because if not all of us had put our hands together, this would not have been a successful program. And this occasion would just be a failure one. So because of all the contributions made for each one in his or her own talent, in his or her own area of responsibility, we could do this thing and accomplish this in this manner. We thank you so much for every one of us. And our, our thanks also go to those who are, I'd like to name, uh, I'd like to address those people who are not here with us, those who are busy preparing our feast and our uh, food out there at the campus at San Marie. So our thanks also go to them. And finally, I'd like to uh, express our uh, regret for the inconveniences that we might have caused to you because of our clumsiness, because of the incomplete uh, preparations that we might have uh, knowingly or unknowingly have caused to you. So we pray and request you to please understand us and not, not take this thing as uh, a purposeful act. So we wish you all the best, and as the principal has already uh, invited us all, let us continue with the fellowship of the feast out there in the evening at the campus. Thank you all. Now it remains for me to thank the one who gives the vote of thanks. So thank you very much, Mr. Van, Van Song, the dean, uh, for that. And um, we have a very wonderful place to celebrate this uh, ceremony and um, we give thanks to the management. I think it, it was mentioned, if, in case it was not, I just want to make sure that it, it is mentioned because under this uh, air-conditioned room we have this wonderful program together and I thank uh, the management for letting us use this uh, premises. Um, As I have mentioned before, uh, after this, we shall all proceed towards the campus uh, for the community celebratory feast. Um, please don't go anywhere else until you have your, your meal with us. Photo session will follow this program, and I think it's uh, Mr. Joseph will be guiding us in this photo session. Uh, he, he, he has a plan. That's good. I shall now ask uh, Reverend Dr. C. Vanaldika the Associate General Secretary of the BCM in charge of mission to come up on stage. And may I request um, the audience to stand up as we receive the benediction. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Let us pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Jacob, Jacob, Isaac and Jacob, the God who calls the stars by name and measures the space and span with his hands. 
the king of the universe. Today we gather here to thank you for the joy of living and seeing the glorious day of this valediction. Lord, we are here to, today to thank you once again for everything this institution has gone through since its establishment. It was you who established this great institution. It was you who brought these students together here and guided all through the years they stay and study. And it was you who helped our students in their journey of learning. At this hour, Lord, we command and commit these graduating students into your mighty hands and loving care so that they may be able to find their future plan possible and successful. Lord, this is our prayer that you will continue to help them in carrying out the aims and objectives of this college wherever they are for the glory of your name and your kingdom. As we close this auspicious function, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God everlasting Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.